what are the gaps we're continuing to complete, and that's been a big area where we've been going after it. And uh, that, for generative AI and all of the different enterprise tools, that's, that's been number one as far as the biggest impact specific to logistics in the area I'm in. Um, secondary, really the, if you look at AI and the deployment, one of the, the second things people say after AI is a learning environment. The ability of my team to be super powered with information to learn has just increased exponentially. So, you know, and that's becoming more and more an expectation, how to lead. And my ability as a leader to go all the way down to the lowest levels and understand the details, how do the systems work, how does the flow work within there has changed as well. Um, one third thing I'll highlight is it scared me from an external standpoint of how others are using it, not just competitors, but how do we use it to, how are others using it to go, I, having run freight and uh, global trade for almost 12 years across two companies, it's an excellent surrogate versus the financial performance of a company. 